Welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I just briefly want to touch upon how best you can use my playlist on Terry Eagleton's Introduction to Theory to prepare yourselves for interview questions or for dissertation or thesis defense questions. Now, if you read the book and watch the videos, what it would give you is not necessarily a lot of knowledge about specific debates of literary theory, but the history and complexity of the debates themselves. So if you've watched any of those videos on Eagleton or read the book, you might have noticed that Eagleton always starts a chapter by describing what a certain movement is. For example, new criticism. He would first tell you who were the major theorists, who were, what were the major journals, what did they focus on, right? And then after he has laid out for you what a particular approach to literary studies is, he then delves into the criticisms of it. And those criticisms are not just surface criticism. He gives us the philosophical grounding of that. So if you were to watch these videos and then read the book, what it would enable you to do in any given interview or dissertation defense is that it will give you a nuanced understanding of First of all, what are the major debates about a given theory? But more importantly, how best to express your views on a given topic of theory or literary studies. So let me give you an example. In the first chapter of the book, he talks about what is literature, right? That's introduction to the book. Now, for most of us, literature, we already assume that it's a stable unit. But he goes on to complicate the idea of literature itself and the idea of literariness itself, right? He starts with the earlier explanations of literature as fiction, tells us who argued that literature is something that is fiction and imaginative, and then slowly deconstructs that for us by suggesting that this is not necessarily a stable definition. Then he goes on to give us the formalistic definitions of literary studies, that literature is language made strange. But then he proves that any language can be made strange. And then by the end of that chapter, we realize that our view or views on literature and literariness are not natural. There is no stable, natural definition of literature or literariness, but rather they are based in ideology, right? And they are based in the social customs and norms. So in a way, then, the value, the definition, or what we think to be literary or to be literature is socially produced. So if you have this knowledge and someone asks you a question about what's your opinion about the novel as a genre, so what you will then have internalized is that you don't need to give a stable definitive definition. You can give your provisional definition of what you think is a novel and then add to it the provisionality of that definition to point out that this is just what some of the critics believe in. It's not naturally so. So these videos, I have listed them under, I think, the UGC exam in India. They may not give you specific instructions of how to attempt a question, but if you watch them carefully, and read the book, what they will give you is the capacity to look at both ends of the questions, to know that all definitions are ultimately determined by who wrote about them, 
by whatever are the social beliefs about them and that those definitions in humanities are socially determined but more importantly to be able to think on your feet to be able to answer a question that you know you don't know the definitive answer about but if it's a conceptual question and not a factual question you will be able to proffer an answer that is newest and that takes into account that all explanations of concepts have a core to them but that most of the times they are debated. So overall if you were to watch the videos on Eagleton's playlist that I have and read the book I can promise you that your way of articulating literature theory and debates about literature and theory will be highly sophisticated or if not so it would be on its way to becoming sophisticated complex and more articulate so that's all i wanted to talk about today i will post the link to the playlist in the description and it will also come up at the end of this video please do watch the videos and then let me know what you think thank you so much stay safe take care of each other and as always from me to you peace and love